Over the first handful of races, we were finding problems with the cars having suspension failures, particularly over the sausage curbs or when the drivers contacted the walls with the tyres. To solve this problem, Spark Racing have developed a new suspension package for the car, and this changes the front wishbone at the front of the car and the pull rod at the rear of the car that operates the springs and dampers. These should be more robust and we should see much less of the suspension collapses than we did in the previous races. It's also possible that teams can now start to play about with some of the spring and the damper settings on the suspension and this should allow them to have less of an impact when the car does make contact with curbs or other objects and feeding that back into the chassis. Fingers crossed for the balance of the season we should be able to see the cars and the drivers be much more aggressive around the track without worries of breakages. Sausage curbs are basically uh, a plastic bolt-on kerb which goes um, around the edge of the track. This tends to be used at the semi-permanent tracks where they don't have the time to put proper con concrete um, curbs in. There are different types but the sausage ones tend to be on the inside of um, other curbing. If the car hits these it's pretty uh, big impact on the suspension make the car fly. However not every circuit has these. Some of the first races that we've seen are on completely new street circuits. Miami, albeit a completely new street circuit, didn't have these sausage curbs. And when we go on to places like Long Beach and onto Monaco that are more used to operating uh, a street race, they also will not be employing these sausage curbs around the edge of the track. So we can expect not to see these again until some of the real new temporary tracks such as Berlin and London at the back end of the season.